Let's do some examples for the chain rule. For my first one, let's consider f of x equal to x cubed minus x squared quantity raised to the 1 half power. Here our inside is going to be equal to u equal to x cubed minus x squared. u prime is going to be 3x squared minus 2x. And so note what I want is the derivative of u to the 1 half times u prime. So what happens here? Okay, well, derivative of u to the 1 half is going to be 1 half u raised to the minus 1 half. So we're going to put our u back in. So what we have, we'll have 1 half x cubed minus x squared raised to the minus 1 half power. Then we have to multiply by u prime, which is just going to be 3x squared minus 2x. So that gets me to my answer. All right, when you get nimble with this, all you need to do is say, cover up the inside. We're going to take the 1 half down minus one half exponent, put the inside back in, then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is three x squared minus two x. Then you're done. That you don't want to do till you have enough practice and you feel comfortable with the chain rule. Let's try another one. F of x is gonna be equal to x squared minus one over x minus two raised to the 10th power. It's the same idea as before. I'm gonna let u be equal to the inside so x squared minus 1 over x minus 2. We're going to take the derivative of that. So it's going to be a quotient rule. So low d high less high d low over low squared. It's the way we remember that. And at the end of the day, what we'll get for u prime is going to be x squared minus 4x plus 1 over x minus 2 squared. Now, we want the derivative of u to the 10th power. So I bring the 10 down, subtract 1 off the exponent. We put our u back in, so that's going to give me 10 x squared minus 1 over x minus 2 quantity raised to the ninth power. Then I multiply by u prime, which is just going to be what we got with the quotient rule. Again, if you're really nimble with this, it's just cover up the inside, 10 whatever to the ninth power, uncover the inside, then multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, but this one, you're gonna have to do some work to get the derivative of the inside anyway. All right, one more. Okay, a little bit trickier. So what I'll do is I have f of x equal to three over tan x cubed. Now, in general, our rule is gonna be if I have, say, a constant over g, okay, say one over g, our rule is gonna be, if I want the derivative of that, it'll be minus g prime over g squared. So my first step here is just going to be to write that out. I'll have minus, okay, the 3 just sticks around. Our g is going to be tan x cubed, so it's going to be tan x cubed prime over tan x cubed quantity squared. Okay, we can't do anything with the square and the cube there. There's a lot of parentheses between those. Now we can go to work. I just need to get a handle on the tan x cubed prime. So again, that'll be a chain rule. So we're going to let our inside be u equal to x cubed. u prime is going to be 3x squared. Derivative tangent, that's going to be secant squared of u. So I had tangent u goes to secant squared u, and then we multiply by u prime. So that's going to give me secant squared x cubed times 3x squared. I put all that back into our equation here, and then you'll notice that's going to collapse down to minus 9x squared, secant squared x cubed over tan x cubed quantity squared. But if we pull that apart by the definition in terms of sines and cosines, you'll notice we'll be left with a 1 over sine squared. That's going to be cosecant squared. And then note, we have an x cubed on the inside. So we have minus 9x squared cosecant squared of x cubed. Easier way to get this. Now note, first step, 1 over tangent, okay, that's sine over cosine, is the same as cosine over sine. So that's just going to be equal to cotangent. So here, what do I have? Okay, well, we're really looking at 3 cotangent of x cubed. I can let u be equal to x cubed, as usual, then u prime is 3x squared. Okay, derivative of cotangent is minus cosecant squared. We put our x cubed back in, and I just have to multiply by the derivative, which is going to be 3x squared. So we pick up the minus sign from the derivative of cotangent, and we get the same answer. 